Hi, I'm Aaron Tweeten, and today we're going to take a closer look at the embed blocks that are available in the new WordPress 5.0 editor. So with the new Gutenberg editor, or the new editor that comes with WordPress 5.0, there are uh, some embed blocks, and I'm going to show you what they look like. So I'm going to add a block here, and if you go under, uh, go to the very bottom, you'll see this category called embeds. And there's uh, several different services. You can choose from Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. I mean, there's a lot. Um, I'm not going to cover every single one of them. Instead, I'm gonna focus on the one that I personally use or the services that I personally use and, or, or I know others that use them. Most of the embeds allow for the addition of captions. Um, for example, if I uh, uh, select this embed, notice how I can add a caption. So here's my, my great tweet, if I can spell it right. There you go. Now, one thing that I've noticed is when you're adding embeds in most cases you'll need to add single posts photos or videos instead of something like a profile page uh, for example let me uh, i'm going to add in twitter i'm going to actually add my uh, twitter.com slash Tweeting. I'm going to add this, and you'll see what happens. What it does is it will actually add all of my entire stream of, of posts, and there's no real control over this. So I wouldn't use I, I wouldn't use it for that. I would um, let me. Let me try to get rid of it. Um, there we go. Remove block. There we go. Uh, instead, uh, use it for single posts, photos, or videos. Because uh, otherwise, something like that will happen. Or sometimes you'll get error messages. Another thing is that when you're using the embeds, I would uh, play around with the uh, different width settings. So I've got uh, this... Uh, this tweet uh, selected. Um, notice though, as I'm changing the width setting, it doesn't look like anything really is happening. All that's happening is it's getting moved over to the side. Okay, there, now we're finally seeing something change. But uh, it it's something that you'll just have to play around with. So this is an example of a, a tweet. And then underneath that, I've got uh, a YouTube video. This is one that I made like a long, long time ago. So with this selected, uh, YouTube, you can embed single videos or playlists, and you actually do have the controls for the width. So uh, this would be the, uh, the standard width. I can change it to wide, or I could make it full width. Uh, this video was originally a uh, uh, standard definition, so that's why it looks terrible and uh, also why it's so high. Next is uh, Facebook. And Facebook, when you add something, you're, it will not show the preview. So I'm going to go over here where the preview is available. And so here you can see uh, it's got the wide... Uh, video setting and then I get down to Facebook and here it has the actual Facebook uh, post and so what this was this was a, a video that I made using uh, Adobe Spark video um, for a, uh, a magazine that I designed it's basically just a, a promotional video let me pause that or let me try to pause it there you go next is Instagram and uh, with Instagram, 
think I almost said into the ham. Uh, Instagram, the embeds only work for single photos or videos. So here I've got uh, video of our bunnies. Um, here's one thing though I notice is that uh, IGTV posts don't seem to embed very well. When I tried to uh, add that, it uh, gave me an error message. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, again, the width setting don't really seem to do anything here. So in this case, what, what's happening is I change it to full width. The video itself is not changing the width. Instead, what's just happening is that the embed is ending up on the left side of the screen. So I'll just change that back to align center. Next, we have Vimeo. And uh, let me pause that. There we go. Uh, Vimeo is similar to YouTube. You can embed uh, single videos or playlists. And uh, you also have the uh, wide width controls or the uh, uh, full width controls. So here, what I did was I recreated the uh, red alert screen from uh, Star Trek movies. And um, yeah, you can just basically just have that playing if you wanted to. And like with the other embeds, I can add, add, a, add a caption. Next one I, I wanted to check out was Issue. And... Issue is used for uh, showing, ma it, mo mostly for magazines. So here's an example of a magazine I designed. And um, if I have it selected, unfortunately, the width controls don't work here. I'm, I was really disappointed with this because this, this one, it seems to be the most narrow of the uh, different embeds that are up there. No, nah, maybe it's not. Okay. Um, but uh, you can you can uh, show the whole thing. And uh, if you are actually on the page itself, so I'm going to go back over here to the preview page. If I was reading it here, I could uh, select this option for full screen. I'm not going to do that right now because uh, it might mess up the video recording. We go back to the editor, and then we come back, come down here to slide share, and this is a, a slide share that I made like a long time ago. With slide share, it looks like it does uh, take advantage of the different uh, width controls, so I can make this full screen. Uh, the only thing that it's unfortunate is that it puts these black bars. Uh, this originally was a PowerPoint presentation, and it for some reason putting these black bars over it. It's trying to make it a a square aspect ratio, and I'm not exactly sure why. Um, and then the last thing was a snug smug mug, not snug mug, smug mug. Um, I don't use Smug Mug personally, but I know somebody who does, and um, uh, it's basically a, a, a professional photographer in Placer County. Uh, when I when I use the uh, Smug Mug embed, you see that obviously something it doesn't look like. All you see is the uh, alt text here. It looks like something's not quite working. Then if I go back over here to the preview page to see what it looks like, uh, this is this is interesting here. Uh, what it does is that it puts the it puts a photo. So here we got Lenny's pictures and uh, this uh, delicious pizza, really great uh, photo of a pizza. But what it's doing is that it's putting this huge um, space. Just above it. I don't know why it's doing that, but that's just something to keep in mind. So these embed blocks, they're they're useful for certain certain things. I mean, I think that the slide share, if I could figure out how that thing works, and then uh, some of these other ones. Let me 
turn spotlight mode off because that's affecting things. Uh, definitely the video embeds are, are handy. I think the Instagram and Twitter embeds are are pretty cool. If if you just keep in mind, you know, they're not going to be. Uh, you, you don't have a whole lot of control when it comes to the uh, spacing. So that's a nutshell of how the embed blocks work using the new WordPress editor. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And be sure to check out AaronTweeten.com for more WordPress tips. Thanks for watching.